Alright, what did it do? I didn't fucking wake up, uh, you know, today. So I guess you could say it's... I don't understand, because I set the fucking alarm. I don't know. I just did, I didn't wake up, so... I didn't play any music when I was awake. And I didn't have time to come in here, really, so... Those fucking trees. Alright. So, I haven't been out here really today. I turned the water down for like 20 minutes. Might snow tomorrow, but I don't think it'll be so cold that it'll threaten the pump. This is the first time I've seen water droplets in the new pond. Fuckers, doing her roof, I guess. Wow, look at all this shit. I don't remember it being like that the last time I seen it. I guess I'll throw some of this dirt in over on this side. Can't really, I don't know why I'm going to do that, because I'm a lazy motherfucker. No, it's mildly raining, so I'm just going to go hang out on the spot. Has a fucking cover. <laughs> All right. say I'm happy about it and I got tattooed like crazy it shit hurt like motherfucker let me just say yeah ow fucking ow that hurt that really hurt. but it gets more painful the older you get so uh, I'm 40 motherfucking two I don't give a fuck what I look like so nobody ever fucking sees me anyway who cares and when they do, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. That's this obvious thing. He doesn't give a fuck. I don't. I don't have to, so I don't. Yeah, fucking. Uh, going through Utah was fucking hilarious. That was fucking funny. I kind of didn't really expect that to happen, but uh, I guess I should have. I thought that was just a kind of a joke or whatever. But, you know, Utah, the Mormons. You know, that bullshit it was real. I didn't really think about it until, you know, we seen them with their braids and their fucking dresses. Just they look fucking like they're in the 17, 1800s. And that's funny or whatever, but we went and got gas. And fucking, I had my head all wrapped with plastic, you know, tattooed and shit. And fucking, so I was wearing a hood. And, uh, Sunglasses and fucking we went in the gas station. And, like you could just feel like all the eyeballs like looking at you like the cash register person or fucking whoever's in there and getting snacks or whatever. But we had to use the bathroom, so that's what we were there for. And fucking even Cindy was like, Yeah, you could just tell they were all like weird and they were because when we were leaving, there was a woman coming in and fucking I don't know. A woman leaving and fucking, I don't fucking remember, man. It was one way or the other and fucking, I was like, all right, I'll hold the door. Because, you know, what kind of a dickhead just fucking lets the door slam on people. So, I held the door and then this other dude, like, kind of took it over real quick. Oh, I'll hold it. It's like, why? So, that Satan doesn't have to hold the door for her or what? <laughs> it's just funny. The way they move and react to you and shit is funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it is. Like, if there was a car accident or this car on the side of the road smoking and there's people, like, running around need help, 
You know, we'd stop and fucking help. I don't give a fuck if you have a cross around your neck. Just fucking, you're a human being. This shit's gonna hurt if you get burnt. So get the fuck out. But if I was in that position and they were driving down, they'd look at me and go, holy fuck, let him burn. <laughs> That's why it's not funny. But I guess the uh, transparency of it is funny. Or can be. Yeah, so all I really have to do is keep filling. Just want to get it as as full as I can while I can because it's October and I'm fucking it's gonna get cold so I gotta get the fuck in I gotta get the panel inside somewhere too because I'm gonna leave it out here in the winter so that time will come soon but I really do want to see this fucking pump work one more time but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because supposed to snow pretty soon, so. that means clouds, and, you know, clouds means no fucking solar or anything, so, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll see, I'll probably just get it till, like, Halloween, it's like two weeks from now, and then, I'll, uh, start to pack everything up, I guess, including this fucking aerator. Which next year I'll probably uh, re configure it, or not configure it, but put it in the other pump, the big one. Because it cut the shit pump, because I cut the shit. It's fucking awesome. We left, came back, it was at the same motherfucking level just like I thought it wanted to be and knew it should be. And it was. Now, I don't know how many days they're going to be fucking doing that, but they need to hurry the fuck up because tomorrow is probably fitting. It's raining today a little bit, so. Uh, it'll be more tomorrow, probably. And it got windy as fuck earlier, too. So I can't hope in terms of building a roof or whatever. So. <coughs> Oh, yeah, and I hit up the fucking drive through uh, dispensary. And fucking big things called New Woo or some shit. And fucking. That means fucking just as fucking nasty as the fucking dispensary shit that's out here. Holy fuck. It's just bad. I don't understand how they're able to sell that shit and people smoke it and think that that's weed. That's not fucking weed, man. I don't know what that is. It is, but god damn it, what they spray painted it with something, it's just not good, man. Yuck. It'll get you high. It tastes like shit. Yeah, hoping to I'll be able to get a lot of the fucking skin that's already healed off in the shower tomorrow. It's been three days, so. I don't even remember how I healed the other fucking when I got on my other side, the other side of my head. Pretty much just winged it, I think. That's how I'm doing it now. You have to go full day, uh, day of, day, night of, and then potentially some of the day after with the saran wrap. But you have to clean the fucking shit out of it like three times in between putting the fucking saran wrap. So if you do that, then by the second day, you can fucking start start up with lotion like a fucking non-fragrant no additives just basic ass motherfucking lotion just to moisturize to keep it wet or you know not dry just use that shit for like another three maybe four days and then i think on the third day second or third day you take a shower and you can get like a lot of skin off just naturally it'll just be ready to come off so you need the lotion to, to 
God damn, my fucking bowels are going nuts right now. Um, we need that moisture to fucking propagate, facilitate the uh, healing, uh, the process of the healing where the old skin releases from the new skin without leaving a fucking taking any ink or leaving a fucking scar or any that kind of shit. And then yeah, once you get that first good layer of skin off in the shower, you can just quit you just keep it keep it up with the fucking lotion until probably like two weeks after it'll be you you're done. It's what's gonna be there is there. It looks pretty goddamn dope, that's all I know. It's like you erase the skin and the fucking the universe that's inside your mind. It was right there for all to see. <laughs> it's fucking sick. And I got the comment on my neck. I love that motherfucker. I got that shit a long ass time ago, but it still looks pretty dope. I hear a cur. I don't see any headlights though. Yeah, I fucking love this in the middle of fucking nowhere. I love it. It means I'm going to be completely alone when I die, that's for sure. All by your fucking self. Terrifying. At least for me it is. It's like, how long are you motherfuckers going to do that shit for, man? It's going to be fucking until you're in on dark. I don't even know if she's home. I was really hoping for some sunny pond time today, but I didn't get it. I overslept, and I don't even know if it was fucking sunny. So. I, don't know, I probably won't get it tomorrow either, because it's probably going to be cloudy and cold. Fall is here. Oh, God damn it. Fucking forgot about that. I gotta change my pod before I go to sleep tomorrow. So I guess it's a good thing I overslept today. So I won't be all dragged, dick tired in the morning. Like, fuck, I gotta go to sleep. I don't wanna do this, but I don't wanna do this because, you know, it hurts. Fuck, I hate doing this shit, man. I am so unbelievably embittered. The fact that I have this fucking disease. It is the worst goddamn fucking thing I could possibly imagine. I mean, food. Could it get any more fucking basic than that? Food. I thought of a good fucking analogy too while I was trying to fall asleep. It's like we're all exploring space. All of us are floating through space in our suits. And they contain our air that we use to breathe, to stay alive. My suit has a fucking leak. I have to go get a little patch from some motherfucker so that I can patch it up so that I can continue to fucking explore. But you can only fucking patch it so many times before the patches will fail. And the air will relieve itself in your suit and you will fucking die all the rest of everybody else gets to just float around be fat dumb and fucking happy that shit makes me embittered it's not anybody's fault it's just bullshit and it makes me angry it's not fair I didn't fucking do anything it's the fuel for why I can't fucking stay in religion why it's poison and fucking I do everything I can to fucking bring it down to fucking to, to make people realize it, it's not what hey maybe if I pray hard enough it'll stop beeping that's what I'm talking about we need to cut the shit we have real fucking problems that need real solutions and you assholes are just fuck fairy tale having ass motherfuckers it goes across the whole spectrum animals and fucking each other fucking 
war, all this ridiculous shit because of stupid ass fucking flying spaghetti monster bullshit. Fuck that. God damn it. I hope, you know, when I die, I can come back in like three or four thousand years after, you know, winning the, in the, in the text fucking, what, nodules? I don't even know what they would be at that point. Something you could just plug in to your body or your mind so that you just, you probably wouldn't even be human by that point anymore. Whatever. Just looking at the history and it would show, you know, what the, what we were like fucking thousands of years ago, all fucking killing each other over fucking invisible deities murdering the fucking planet for nothing more than just self-propagation long after we've figured out that you know population control we can't just keep fucking breeding we can't just have fucking 25 billion people on this fucking earth it just you can't do that physics so i guess in one of those thousands of years we'll learn the hard way come back do it all over again learn the hard way a second time and then maybe by the third time, we'll finally fucking wake the fuck up, knock it off all the bullshit. Understand life is a fucking web. And we don't need to be fucking fucking up any part of it. Any part you fucking hurt, you're just hurting your fucking self. To live in fucking cohesive fucking unity with the fucking planet, not against it or taking from it. I have to. In this fucking time. Because I have a disease that requires plastic. Batteries. Yeah. And I hate that. I fucking hate that. I hate this fucking body. Ooh. My birdie. I can't really see it. But I fucking know it's there. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. That's why I fucking am out of here. So I can just be out here with the fucking, fucking animals. Just to understand nature. They don't give a fuck about me at all. Shit, most of them have parasites. Shit, all of them have parasites. We all have parasites. Fucking nature, man. This is life on Earth. Oh, yeah. I got... I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm supposed to get it on Halloween. Fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson's new book. I don't really read because it takes me fucking forever. What, with one good eye? But... That's a book that I, uh, I think I'll spend winter trying to get through. I tried to read Fractal Time, and about halfway through, it was just like, fuck, this is really hard to remember, and I'm not gonna remember any of this, so I gave up <laughs> on that shit, so, because, I mean, with, I don't know, it was, in, it was informative, and it's like, oh, okay, Fractal Time. I still don't understand what it was about, but I did at one point. <laughs> Good thing there's no tests, but I do want to read Neil's book. Because so. that motherfucker, he's, yeah, that's the dude. That's the dude. He, yeah. Like his fucking stance on aliens and shit. It's like, yeah, show the evidence. Let us review it. Like, that's the only way you can really definitively say anything's fucking real or not evidence and then it's peer reviewed and then you have an answer but until then it's just fucking you know i don't know i think aliens definitely are they're definitely a thing and they probably are here but you know if that's the case it's sad because i would figure there would be much more yeah no i don't fucking know i really don't because i did believe but now i'm starting to think more about like what he said it's like fuck yeah most of the life on earth that shares DNA with us doesn't even fucking have a face. Worms don't have faces. Microbials, you know, all the shit. It's like, it shares DNA with us, but we don't look, they don't look like, we have faces and shit, so well, conveniently all the aliens just have eyeballs, a nose, fucking chest bones, arms, legs. Oh, it has three fingers, so I guess that means it's fucking alien. It's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think if there's an alien, it probably wouldn't look like us. Or even bipedal. But, what the fuck do I know? 
I know shit. Nothing except for I like to get high. I do, so I do. Speaking of which, I fucking heard a fucking video from Gorillas. I know Gorillas is an old group, but they like remixed the fucking. It sounds like Clint Eastwood, but his girl is mixed with fucking Snoop Dogg. It's pretty fucking dope. Because Snoop has to be all, you know, fucking censored and shit for like ABC, that kind of shit, like football. But when he can just sit and fucking be who he is, fucking pretty dope. Daddy Long Beach, motherfucker. ABC. Yeah, whatever. Fucking, the only connection I have with that is fucking Sublime. And I wasn't listening to that type of shit when it was all popular. I was listening to fucking Slayer and Metallica and shit. And The Grateful Dead. <laughs> Weird mix, but I is who I is. Just because I'm just like a sunflower, but I'm fucking being fucked with all the time. So I'm trying to emerge out of all the mud, I guess, I don't know, something that makes it all curled over and hidden, distressed, I'm just trying to fucking break out of that and fucking be the flower I know I, I am, but being that type of person can get you fucking victimized pretty quickly, so you kind of have to be ready to fucking say fuck that and cut the shit, basically. I guess I'm just a deadhead of the 2020. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm fucking young, but I guess I'm old. I'm really fucking old. 42, is that really old? Yeah, I think it is. When you say 40, it's like, ooh. It's an old man. No, I'm not old yet. I would be old when I think when I'm 50. I really don't like this shit, getting old shit, man. It really sucks because I'm not, I'm not that. I've spent my entire life just trying to stay at like 17, 18. And I have, except for my physical looks and just facts. You know, facts. Time has passed. I am now this many years old. And my face, I guess, looks it, even though I don't think it does. But it doesn't matter how many times you tattoo your face, you're still going to look old. I don't know. I don't care. I really don't give a fuck because I don't feel I'm going to be living that long. So, long enough for it to look like a fucking pathetic old guy. And who the fuck cares? I'm not going to nowhere. I don't plan on going nowhere. Even if fucking it was like, oh shit, so you lost your job or something fucked up happened and you can't pay for the mortgage, then I'm just going to die here because that's as simple as I'm not leaving, motherfuckers. You just don't get it. I'm not going anywhere. I didn't dig the fucking pun. I didn't fucking, no, no, I'm not leaving. The only way I would leave would be to live, move, go move in a bigger house in this same area. That would be the only reason for leaving this, this specific area, but... I don't foresee my fortune getting that well, or that good, so I'm not going to leave unless it's in a body bag. Stomach agreed. <laughs> I mean, fuck it, I'm already 42, shit. I may, I'm supposed to die when I was 28, so every fucking year after that, it's just a fucking icing on the cake, right? I'd like more, obviously, but I don't know. There's a lot of factors that you're, you're going to determine all that. Some of the factors are financial, but the biggest factor is the physical. I don't know how many more fucking pods I can physically take. So, I'm pitted against my own pain threshold, which I don't like, because I don't have a high one. Like, well, maybe you do, I mean, with the tattoos, yeah, no, that shit fucking hurts like a motherfucker. It really, really, really hurts. But I'll go through that pain to get what I want, so. But the, 
pods hurt too. And it's not going to stop at all. There's no end to it. I guess having that mental finish line probably makes it a little easier to withstand shit. Like, oh, it'll be over. Like fighting cancer or fucking sicknesses, really. Just fucking, there's an end to it. There is no end to this shit. It's just fucking when I die, that's when I don't have to hear that beep and fucking feel that dread. I hate these fucking things, but I have to love them because I wouldn't be alive without them. So there's that is the main fucking caveat, I guess. I know this is so good to be high outside. I was hoping the fucking they would stop before I was gonna go in, but I guess not. Huh. Fucking hungry. Alright. Let us walk back. And if She's asleep. I'll turn the hose on for 15 minutes. Fill it up little bit by little bit. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Yeah, it's been about a half an hour. should be asleep. I don't know. If she fell asleep on the couch, then she won't be. Right, go in now, you fucking weenie. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna try to fall off the fucking roof? No, I guess it's good. The longer they fucking do it, the sooner they'll be finished. Hopefully tomorrow, but I don't know. It's only Wednesday tomorrow, so. They probably won't. God damn it. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this with a fucking passion. Anybody watching, you need to know that this is some horse shit. Fuck. Alright. So, it's dark. So, until next time. Late, late, late on.